good person. And you know I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? So once you lose access to me, that's it. You don't get a chance to spin the block. It was a time when you called me, I answered the phone on the first ring. It was a time where I text you right back. But you lost those privileges. And once you lose access to me, that's it. That goes in relationship, business, friendship, whatever it is. Once you lose access to me, you don't get to come back. If you left, you chose to leave for a reason. You don't get to come back and get with me. You still like getting with me. Because when you come back and try to deal with me, now I don't feel like being part. People don't understand that. I'm not paying for friendship. It's too expensive. The majority of the time, the reason why people want to come back and listen to you is because they know you're good. And you knew that from the get-go. So why did you allow yourself to lose access to me? If I was such a good person in your life, you know what that means? You're getting value what you have. I'm a good person. Dip family, dip family, it's your cousin, cousin Pete, man. Look here, man. I pray all is well, man. I pray all is well. I'm out of one meeting to another. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, <clears throat> I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, master of day of judgment. Thee alone do we serve, thee alone do we seek help. Oh, Allah, guide us on the right path. The path upon those who have bestowed favors. Not upon those whose wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray. For surely praise and magnify it. Amen. How y'all feeling out there, dear family? I'm, 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 I'm trying to be very consistent with my, with my podcast lately, man. Um, sometimes... When an individual is inconsistent, it's because there's so much, so many things is going on in that human being's life. And sometimes God shuts your mouth when you want to talk. He don't give you the energy or the courage or the inspiration to talk. So when you see an individual being consistent about something... That means that the inspiration is there in God and open up the floodgate to share the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding and give you a different perspective other than your own. This podcast is titled, Be Patient with Those Who Love You Genuinely. Why should you be patient with those who love you genuinely? Be patient. I'll be the first individual to say you, I'm very impatient. I'm striving to be upright in that area. I'll be lying if I told you that I have, I have tolerant level that when it pertains to patience, I can endure. I'll be lying to you. I don't have patience. I'm striving to perfect that energy. My brother Nasir has patience. When we move, strike that title. Be patient with those who love you. When that subject title came to mind, be patient with those who love you. That was God talking to me about growing into my patience. One. And be patient with those who love you because far too many times We don't value the love that other individuals have for us as much as we should. Be patient with those who love you genuinely. Define genuinely. Genuine is something that's unconditional. 
Some people love with conditions and some people love unconditional. I believe genuinely is unconditional. Love is at the highest degree of our planet and the greatest degree in regards to God himself. Love God first. Put yourself first. Self-preservation. So the love starts with self. The love actually starts with the reflection of God in you and loving self. Because when you see this body, you want to put the best things in this body because you love yourself. The way you handle your body is how someone else is going to handle you. It determines if you love yourself. And in loving yourself, others will love you the same. If you disrespect yourself, if your conduct and your character is not consumed, Having you consume the right things for this body, this body will start to reject the love that you've given it. It's because it's not the genuine love at all. Some of us smoking, some of us drinking, some of us eating, some of us not sleeping, some of us is doing everything under the sun. And the opposite nature of love. So our body rejects it when you think that you love yourself you're really not loving yourself at all because your body is the first one to tell you when you don't love yourself because you have a pain here a ache there a headache here A weight issue. A sickness. A discomfort. The body is rejecting what you're putting in it. The body is rejecting what you're not doing for it. So love. In the natural way of God himself is starting with self first. Love thyself. How do you know when you loving yourself properly? How do you know when you loving God himself properly? It's because the body will feel at peace. The body will be in harmony. Where there is no justice. There is no peace. I'm going to say it again, dear family. Where there is no justice, there is no peace. So when you consume all these foods that's bad and you don't even know the ingredients, your body will not be at peace because you're feeding it injustice, injustice ingredients. That's afflicting the immune system. That's inflicting your nervous system. That's inflicting your eyesight. That's inflicting your guts. So I want to say to you, dear family, as this podcast is titled, be patient with those. Be patient. With those who love you genuinely. The body. I'm talking about the body. This part one. Be patient. Because your. The spirit of God in you. Loves you. I'm going to say that again. The spirit of God in you. 
loves you. What is the spirit of God in you? It's the truth. You know wrong from right. Your body rejects anything that's affecting it. You would consume things and it would throw it back up. What the body is telling you is to love me. That's my point, dear family. When you have a headache, the brain is telling you to love me. Settle down. Pain is an alarm in the body. When you hit a coffee table, the nervous systems alarm you that you just hit your foot. You got to be more careful. When you have a headache, the headache is alarming you that something is going on with the body or something is going on, something you doing. It's too much. And they say too much of anything is no good. So we have stress headaches. We have. Things that's going on in the body and the body alarms you because the body is telling you to love me. Because I love you. I have your the mind is working with the heart. The heart is working with the lungs. The lungs is working with your pancreas. The digestive system is working with the intestinal walls. Everything is in obedient in the nature in which God created it. But here you go and everybody working in love and harmony. All your organs are working in harmony as God created it for you to do so. But here you come with unjust love. Consuming things. That don't love you. And your body allows you to informs you that what you're doing. What you're consuming don't love us. It's hurting me. Now you have cancer. It's hurting me. Now you got a hysterectomy coming. It's hurting me. Now you got bumps all on your face. It's hurting me. Now you got diabetes. You're hurting me. See. Be patient. Come on. Be patient with those who love you genuinely. My, your organs love you genuinely because they don't. They act in harmony to sustain this life. They love you. Your heart loves you. Your mind loves you. Your nose, it smells for you. Your eyes look for you. Your ears listen for you. Your hands work for you. So everything is loving you genuinely. This body is loving you. These organs are loving you genuinely. But what are you doing to love it back? Be patient. Meaning become a thinker now. It's time now. Give the body the justice that the body gives you. The body allows you to wake up in the morning. The body allows you to get to the destination. The body allows you to think. The body allows you to produce Children, the body allows you to breathe in oxygen. The body allows you to have an intuition in the gut. The body is in, in harmony with his creator. But here you go. Being very impatient or impatient. We're loving it back. 
Be patient with those who love you genuinely. There's an arrogance about individuals and may have been of myself in my time. To not treat people how you want to be treated. To not reciprocate the love that one gives you. The arrogance of a human being suggests to themselves that they're better. And they don't have to do the small things that represents the big things. So the individual becomes arrogant. In relationships, the individual becomes bigger than life, bigger than the, than the relationship. And when one is arrogant, one begins to disrespect the very human being that loves them genuinely. When one becomes arrogant, he or she begins to disregard the other human being that loves you genuinely, that supports you unconditionally. Do you know that you set yourself up to lose a man of God or a woman of God? Those of us that have been arrogant, that have been in disregard of other people's feelings. Those of us that think we're bigger than the relationship. That is the opposite of God himself because God is the meek. So when you have one that loves you genuinely, that is God's patience for you in a human being. I'm going to say that again, dear family. That is God's patience for you, example for you, and a human being. And when you disregard that one who loves you genuinely, you're actually writing off a message and a lesson God is giving to you through another human being. You're too arrogant. Come down. You're too disrespectful. Come down. The example was in your face. For how I would love you to be. This is a supreme wisdom scholarly teaching. So those of us, and I'm talking about my days as a young dude, that walk with an arrogance, walk with a nonchalant attitude, walking with a bigger than life behavior. Disregarding those that supported us genuinely. Self-check reality. Check yourself now. Because those individuals are the grace of God that God afforded you in your life. When they don't do what you need them to do, you get upset with them. When they don't meet an obligation that you put out for them, you get upset with them. 
you have to start weighing things in the balance with individuals. If the pro outweigh the con, have patience with those who love you genuinely. Because those who love you genuinely are actually the ones that will support you not only internally, but indefinitely. Don't like who you want to like, like who like you. I say this all the time. Don't fuck with who you want to fuck with. Fuck who fuck with you. What's the meaning, Cousin P? We always get with those that we like, but disregard the ones that genuinely love us. See, the one you actually don't want is actually the one for you. Maybe that individual don't have the looks. Maybe that individual don't have the charisma. Maybe the individual don't have the money. Maybe that individual don't have the withal. But that individual have a beautiful spirit of God that supersedes everything. You have to stop being so face surfaced in your thought process. And it's time to connect with a spiritual energy, which is God himself in the times in which we're living. Because you're going to run away all the best things that God put around you based on your lusting after lower desire behavior. You look at all the. You look at all the small things in the individual. Strike that. Let me say this. Some of us who um, suggest that we're better than others or that ain't for me because the individual don't have what our emotional attachment desire. You forgetting about the whole process of what a help meet person in a relationship is. Sex don't sustain a relationship. Financial gain don't sustain relationships. The spiritual connection is the most powerfulest element that can withhold the adversity, the atrocities the ups the downs because you're not leaning on your own understanding you're leaning on God himself understanding genuine love is priceless these youngsters ain't no one valuable and value we talked about that before on a podcast How do you define or when do you know somebody genuinely loves you? In all your endeavors, they always stay meek and they always got a solution to your problem and trying to assist you to be better. You ever had a woman like that, brother? Or you ever had a man like that to not only to critique you, but to point out imperfections, imperfections in you to make you a better woman. Are men, a woman having the very patience of God with you because you so street driven. With a street driven mentality. Be patient. With those who love you genuinely. Those of us that's 40 plus, we have been through a trial and error in our lives where we could understand or differentiate what 
disingenuous is and what genuine genuine is. Surround yourself with genuine people. It's time now. Surround yourself with intelligent people. It's time now. Come from up out of what the streets produced us to be and get into what God intend for us to be. It's time now. A friend of mine talked about communication. Communication is key to everything. I'm driving this car and it's put together for every technology, uh, whether it be the gas accelerator, the uh, radio, the transmission, the energy, everything has to uh come together in harmony and connect with one another to be able to move freely and operable. Lost my train of thought, but I'm coming. So everything is communicating in harmony. So true communication is very important. But the key word on communication is sometimes you have to have patience because sometimes you may start your car and it may go. Ah, 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 ah. It's trying to get all this wires connected, ah, 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 ah. you know, and sometimes the car won't even start for you. So you got to call a, a wise man over that knows the internal communication that's off. And he comes and tell you, oh, your carburetor is clogged. We got to clean this carburetor out in order for the gas to flow fluently that the car may start and that everything may communicate properly. Well, that's in the same in relationships. When you run into a dead end and a lack of communication. Have patience because there may be a clogged. Radiator. They may there may be a dead battery that needs to be replaced. There may be some internal issues going on that the wise man or time permitted may allow that human being to clear out what's stopping him or her from communicating. Have patience with those who genuinely love you. And I close with that. If you have any questions, let me know. Now, I'm going to squeeze another subject title in here. A lot of people who time is now really don't have time for people who time is coming. I'm going to talk to the rappers with this one. I've been fortunate enough to be in this industry for over 20 plus years. And this is a dangerous and grimy business in the business industry. Very selfish individuals hold post and gatekeepers in this industry. I'm talking to all the rappers. And I want to start with my home first, which is the Bay Area. Look at the title. A lot of people who time is now really don't have time for people who time is coming. Because the people who time is now are Afraid to get their spot taken or taken from people who time is coming. Clay on the Warriors was just set down because he's not contributing to the team as he once did. Now, the new buck 
that they put in Clay Thompson place is a fireball. And at first, Clay felt some kind of way, but he was taught by the wise man, sat down and had a conversation with the team. And it made sense to start to develop the youngsters because the old ones are going out. Now Clay is able to put the wisdom and create a beautiful relationship opposed to holding animosity against the brother, assuming that the young man is trying to take his place. You do yourself a disservice. When you are unable to embrace the new. Because the new is going to be able to teach you something to get out of your old ways and your old habits and your old behaviors. So now Clay Thompson is coming off the bench for the Golden State Warriors, but he producing 30 points, 28 points, something he ain't did all season long. So the transition was great. And I want to say to these rappers in the Bay Area, I want to first thank DJ Duro, man. I can't thank that brother enough for being an inspiration for me because I, I didn't consider myself a rapper at all. I didn't give a damn about rapping. I was in them streets checking cheddar like a food inspector, getting money and well-respected from Berkeley, California and represented everything uh, from the south to the waterfront. I had a lot of love in West Oakland, East Oakland. Richmond, everywhere. That's what type of dude I was then growing up. And the transition for me was salute to Daryl giving me an opportunity to come into Bomb Shelter No Limit. And I was embraced with love during that time with Steady Mobbing was there. Uh, Collision was there. Uh, the Block Monsters was there. And I, you know, and shout out to Buddy Bean, my brother, Mr. Muhammad, who brought me over to Duro. And I'm going somewhere with this, so listen to me. Four too many times. Title. A lot of people who time is now really don't have time for the people who time is coming. I wasn't really a rapper, so I used to, you know, fuck up on the booth, in the booth a lot. And people that was in the studio that was well versed and it was their thing didn't really have patience with me. They didn't have patience with me. They thought that um, maybe I wasn't a good rapper. But there was those that had patience with me. And this was over 20 plus years ago. Maybe because they thought I was coming to take their spot. But look what it turned, look what I turned out to be in the music industry. I made a lot of money in the music industry. Not to boast to brag. But because the people that had genuine love with with me and patience with me developed me into what I am today. The people that encouraged me was Snoop Dogg. Shout out to Snoop. I wrote that song, So Black and So Beautiful, years ago. And when he heard the song, he was like, Cousin P, you got a hit. I said this on my documentary that's coming. Shout out to Sebo, who used to come to the studio with the mob figures. And I used to get in the car with Sebo, and he like, Cousin, hit his back. He was working on money by the ton back then. 
Shout out to Mystical and shut and I salute that brother down right now. Shout out to Master P for giving me the game and the wisdom in the priority building when we were signing our deal. Those are innovative human beings that had patience with human other human beings because they seen the future. And to this day, I have a great relationship with Master P. I have a great relationship with DJ Durrell. And what Master P shown when I was in the block monster era was just what I'm saying. A lot of people who time is now really don't have time for those who, who time is coming. Mystical was popping. Servon was popping. Silk was popping during that time. But. Master P vision was the not so much of what the old was doing, but he was focused on the new. And a lot of people didn't like that during them camps and during that era. And it reminds me of the rappers in the Bay Area, everybody for self and selfish as hell. A lot of my music don't even sell on the West Coast, it sell all down south. My inventory, so black and so beautiful, all down south. There's nothing collectively about a Bay Area rapper when I was coming up that could have put the town on the map. We had the two shorts. We had the E-40s. But those are the only individuals, uh, in, with the exception of Richie Rich, that came out of the West Coast with a major deal. Everybody else was selfish and working towards, wasn't even working towards unity. And this is why we are what we are now, because there's so much disunity among artists in the Bay Area. And you want to know why? It's just what I said. A lot of people who time is now really don't have time for people who time is coming. I'll say that again, dear family. A lot of people who time is now, it's a lot of rappers who time is now. They really don't have time for people who time is coming, who they could develop, who they could have gave the wisdom to, who they could acknowledge on their social media platforms to build the brand of the Bay Area, to show the unity of the Bay Area. I was in a priority meeting back when Ruthless Records in L.A., and that was one of the biggest things they was talking about. There's no unity in the Bay Area, so it's hard to brand out there. i close with this, dear family. Want for your brother or your sister what you want for yourself. Do due diligence, man, on seeing a gift or seeing in someone. And because you own, it should it should inspire you to help that other. It should inspire you to help others. It should inspire you to give that individual knowledge. So when you fade off like Clay Thompson is doing, taking a back seat, coming off the bench now. That seed that you dropped on that individual, that love that you gave that individual, that support that you gave that individual, when they, they coming. And now they bigger than you. They can always bring you back up. So water those things around you, dear family. Don't be self-centered and selfish. And I'll close with this.
It is actually time now. To put everything in perspective. I want to say in relationships, friendships, situationships and marriages. It's time now. See, because friendships expect relationship benefits and relationships expect marriage benefits. When you put things in perspective, you'll be slow to anger because your expectation won't be so high. Save your heart and save yourself and save your relationship. Quit raising the bar to be something that's not and quit making things to be what you want them to be. When the footwork has not been produced. There's levels to everything and you have to work towards that, but a conversation needs to be had. So quit assuming what something is and is not. Also, it's very important it's very important I don't know if that the card that I lost my train of thought because I was looking at the dang card it's very important that um Somebody keep circling the block. You got to be on your swivel. You got to have a head on the swivel and be ready because I stay ready. But it's very important that you don't take things out of context in relationships. If you have a friendship, what are the expectations of a friendship? If you have a relationship, Know the expectations in a relationship. If you have a situationship, know the expectations in a situationship. How do you know them? You talk about them. Don't add and subtract a damn thing to any one of those entities because they all different. And your situations will last longer. Because as they say, communication is the key to success. May Allah bless y'all. If you have any questions, tap in. Any questions, tap in. I'm wondering what I'm going to eat tonight, man. I might do a kale salad with my alfalfa sprouts and my uh, cucumbers. And um, what else I'm gonna put in that thing? I may put some almonds in there. Not almonds, but uh, I like um, uh, I might oh, I might do that sourdough bread with some avocado on it. Any questions, dear family? If not, I'm gonna handle the rest of my business I got to do. I'll see y'all shortly. Peace.